Welcome back guys to our HYNS SCCM tutorial series. My name is Romujit and continued from our last video on SCCM post installation configuration. In this video guide, I will show you how to install and configure a secondary site system on SSM current branch version 2103 step by step. I was quite busy on last week with my latest assignment for a client. Hence it took some time for creating a video on this topic as requested by one of our community members. In this video guide, we will know about what are the prerequisites for a configuration manager secondary site server. Then we will know about how to configure the secondary site and the associate log files that we need to check during the installation. At last, we will test with one of our lab client system to check the SCCM client installation and what it's reporting back to our SCCM and client console. One thing to note here, whenever we initiate a secondary site installation, it will automatically install the management point and distribution point role on the secondary site server. So looking at our configuration manager site document, we will require .NET version 3.5 or a supported version of .NET framework. Starting from configuration manager version 2107, it recommends having .NET version 4.8 on each site servers. Then we will need to install some of the IIS roles and features including bits and remote differentiate compression. Though IIS roles and features will be installed automatically during the installation of the secondary site, but I will prefer to install it before initiating secondary site installation. Alright, I have a new build server to perform this demonstration and named it SCCM S01. Also I have added two more drives, one for our SCCM site installation and another one to host the content library package files. I have also downloaded .NET uh, 4.8 installer and other prerequisites to prepare our secondary site before the installation. So let's start. First, we will install .NET 3.5 feature from the server manager's add rules and feature console. Click on next. Next. Next again. From the feature tab, select .NET 3.5. Specify an alternative source. I have also mounted the ISO file. Let me access it. Navigate to SSX under Sources folder. Copy the path. Okay. And click on Install. All right. The installation is completed now. Next, we will install .NET version 4.8 from the installer pack. Accept the license and click on install to continue. It will take some time to complete the installation, depends upon the hardware. So please wait for some time to complete it. Ok, the installation has been completed. Let's reboot the server to complete it. Okay, let me log in. So, our .NET frameworks are installed now. Now, we will install the IIS role and the required features for secondary site installation. I have the install windows uh, feature powershell command. 
let me open it open powershell as administrator and run the command to install the is role i will share the command in the video description as well all right is role and required features are were also installed successfully next we will join this device to our hons domain click domain enter the domain name in our case it is hons.in provide the domain gen credentials here okay Let's restart the server to complete the operation. Now we need to perform some configuration from the AD side. Let me log in to my domain controller first. Open Active Directory Users and Computers. First, we will add this device to our SSM servers group. That is, GRP underscore SSM servers. And then we will place this device to our SSM OU. So it gets the policy that we configured for our SSM site server earlier. I would recommend you if you have yet not come through from design SSM OU and firewall ports configuration videos, do check it out for more info. Moving back to our secondary server, let me log in it with domain account this time. We will update the group policy first. To update the group policy, Open PowerShell. And run the command gp update forward slash force. Okay. Now we will start the installation of our secondary site from our SSM console. Open the console. Click on administration tab from the bottom left corner. Expand site configuration. Sites. Select site and click on the option create secondary site from the ribbon. Next, provide a site code for this site. In our case, it will be S01. Then specify the site server name. For an example, we will keep the site name as S01 secondary site. Next, uh, we will install it on D drive of the server instead of root. Copy source files, leave it as default. On the SQL Server setting tab, leave it to default. It will create a new SQL Server Express installation for our secondary site. Specify the distribution point description here. And check the box Install and Configure IS if required. Site communication leaves it on HTTP now. On drive settings, I will increase the reserved drive space to 1000 MB. 
Next, we will change the primary content library location and package share location for E drive. Validate content is yes. the boundary group tab. I have already created two boundary groups, one for our site assignment and another one for distribution point assignment. We will add the DP boundary for this. Next, verify the summary tab and click on next. It will start the secondary site installation process. For more info, go to C drive and open configmgr prereq.log. See, the prereq chase is in progress now. Also, you can verify the progress from the SSM console by right click on the targeted secondary site and click on show install status option. It will take some time to complete the prereq check and the installation. Let's wait for some time. Keep refreshing the status console. Alright, it looks like our prereq check was completed successfully. Now at any time, it will kick start the secondary site installation. Let's move to our secondary site. To check the backend, see on the installation drive, it is currently copying the bootstrap installation package to install the bootstrap services. Open the SMS bootstrap log file using same trace. See, there is an entry that it is currently decompressing the package that has been copied from our primary site to the newly built secondary site server. Okay, secondary site bootstrap installation is also completed now and the service is currently running. There will be one more log file named configmgr setup at the root of the server. Let's open that. It is currently installing SQL Server Express to host the secondary site database with the install command. Alright, now it is setting up the permission to database objects. Copying the files. Generally, it takes 30 to 45 minutes depends upon your ne network bandwidth. Okay, uh, let me pause the video as of now. Alright, uh, let's have a look at the secondary server site comp log under Microsoft Configuration Manager logs folder. It's already started to install all the site components. Looks good. Alright, looks like our secondary site server installation is completed successfully. Looks good. There is no more entries in sitecomp.log. Looks good to me. Back to our console. Let me refresh our SSM console first. See, our secondary site service status is currently active. Also, we will check the replication status between primary and secondary site databases 
from the monitoring tab under the database replication option. Looks like the database replication is currently in progress. Looks good. It will take some time depends on our primary database size. Next, we will check the distribution point installation status under distribution point configuration status. Looks good. We will wait for some time to complete the database replication and other jobs. Let me pause the video again. Alright, our secondary site server is fully synced now. I have also configured our secondary site boundary groups. Let me show you. For S01 DP assignment boundary group, we have already configured it during our secondary site installation. And for S01 site assignment bounded group, I have enabled the option to use this boundary group for the site assignment. Alright, next we will initiate client, uh, client push installation. I have one Windows 11 device in my setup. Next. Install client from a specific site. Okay, uh, let me choose the other option. So it will be installed from our A01 site server. Next. Resource will be inserted from the site. A01 looks good and close. Next, we will initiate client push to our A01 site server as well by our uh, primary site. Next, next again and close. There will be a log file called ccm.log in which we can get all the entries for client push installation. Let me open that. See, it is currently copying the client files to our A01 site server now. Let me access the admin dollar path for more info. CCM setup under logs open the CCM setup log file. Alright, the installation is in progress. Let's wait for some time. Also, I have enabled uh, create the AD site boundary automatically option. So, currently we have two different AD boundaries in our setup. S01 for secondary site and HYNS for the primary site. Back to system setup log. It is still in progress. Alright, our system setup is completed with return code 7, which means the installation is successful but uh, requires a reboot to complete the client configuration. For our Windows 11 device, it takes approximately 16 minutes to complete the installation. Currently, it's registering the client with management point. On our Windows 11 device, let's open the control panel to see the client details. Small ops icons. Configuration manager. See, the assigned management point is our primary site server, but uh, there is one more proxy management point information. That is our S01 secondary site. Any client that has the S01 AD site will communicate via our secondary site server only. Also, if we check the site assignment, it will be the primary site. You can't assign a client to a cache site or a secondary site.
Back to our SSM console, see the client on Windows 11 devices reporting as active now. It generally takes 10 to 15 minutes, depends upon network bandwidth. Alright, that should cover I think what I want to cover today. We'll see you in the next video on SSM site backup and recovery. Please feel free to comment and share your questions if you like the video. Thank you.